I guarantee you this video is going to help you increase your income because I've been training entrepreneurs now for almost a decade. I've trained thousands and thousands of people. Many of them become multimillionaires and I want to teach you exactly the biggest mistakes that you need to avoid to make sure you get your goals quickly. Now, it's very important to understand that we have time, money, and emotion. We'll make decisions in business and they all impact our net income and the fulfillment of our life as far as what we want out of our life. Now, here's the big ones I want to break down. Here's number one. Now, think about this term real quick, guys. Phone management for number one. What does this actually mean? It means controlling a phone call, getting the best out of the phone call, but guarding your time on the phone call. Have you even thought about this? How you start, move through, and exit a phone call? What about your employees, or in our case, agents? Have they thought about this? Are they trained on this? Because time management is a big part of our business because if we save time and trade time back in to income producing activities, our income goes up, right? And then we can bring that income in, cycle it back through, and scale faster. So what you wanna do is get in and out of the phone call quickly because most of you guys are taking a one minute phone call to a five, a five to a 15, a 15 minute to, a, to an hour or longer because you don't know how to control the phone call. You're getting caught in a spot where the other person's talking and talking and talking. You've already got past the point of the phone call, but you don't know how to stop it. You don't know how to exit it. You don't wanna be rude. This is a partner of yours, a lender, someone's very important in your business, and you don't know how to get the exit and stop it without intruding and cutting them off and saying, hey, guess what? You're, what you're saying is not important, and I need to go. My time is more important. So the way you avoid these weird spots on how to exit a phone call is you start the exit from the beginning of the phone call with what's called phone framing. So if I have you call me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna frame the phone call for a short exit, but getting to exactly what we need to get to. Hey, what's going on, John? Hey, you caught me when I'm running in somewhere real quick. I got about two to three minutes here. How can I help? I'd be glad to help you basically, right? So you're saying, I'm gonna get right to what you wanna talk about, but I have to get off quickly. So it's gonna make them get to the point. And also when you say, hey, guess what? I'm running in here real quick. You set the expectation that you were gonna do that anyways, so therefore you're not being rude and cutting the conversation short. I'll have other calls, I mean other videos, guys, on this channel going forward about how to manage the phone because it is incredibly important to your income. Now let's go on to number two. Now here it is, number two, guys. Some of you might not like this, but we're talking about television management. I recommend getting rid of the television completely. The best thing that ever happened for my business was I went broke, I had to pawn my TV off, and as soon as I got rid of my television, I had a lot more time and my business exploded. I struggled and went into debt while I had TV. When I got rid of TV, I built a million dollar business pretty quickly. So what I want you to understand is every minute, every hour, every time associated for yourself watching television that's not building your business, meaning education, something positive, but just when you're out there killing time or just watching TV for no reason, every hour that you spend watching that is an hour that's not going into your business. And every hour that you have, if you're a profitable business, has an hour attached to it. $50 an hour, $100 an hour, $1,000 an hour, right? So if you're making $100 an hour, but you spend five hours a day watching TV, that's $500 a day. So that $500 TV that you thought just cost $500 in your mind actually costs $500 to buy it and then $500 a day to have it. So think about how much time you're putting in watching the TV. Usually most people, five to seven hours a day, which blows my mind. The TV should be used as a tool to educate, to benefit you, not to destroy you. So the more time you watch TV on non-income producing activities, meaning education, things that can move your business forward, you're moving your business backward. Start thinking how to cut the hours of TV down, watch more positive things and more educational uh, programs that will help you, and you're gonna have a lot higher income at the end of the year because you're gonna take the time traded that used to go to TV and put it into your business, and it's common sense, right? Your income will go up. Let's go into number three. Now, before I give you number three, guys, which has multiple parts to it, I wanna let you know that number four is the most important one. I truly think with the way the world is moving right now, but here's number three, which is car management or automobile management in a couple different ways. Let's get the easy one out first. Just the wear and tear on the automobile, right? Expensive driving, cost of mileage, wear and tear on the car, long-term fixes on it, and things like that, especially depending on the type of business model that you have. What if you have multiple trucks or cars in that type of business model that you run? So think about that, the expense on the vehicle, the fewer the miles you drive, the less taxing it is on that vehicle, the less expenses you're gonna have long-term, the more money you can trade back into other parts of your business. Now, number two is, what are you actually doing or listening to while you're in the car? What's going in your mind while you're inside the car? Because most of you guys are listening to music, rap, country, techno, it doesn't matter, and you're not doing something that builds you up going forward. You're not listening to personal development or self-development or motivation. You're not listening to books, podcasts, seminars, things that are growing you. You're doing things in the car that are slowing you down. They're distracting you. You're feeding your mind negativity, poison and how long is that going to last so think about what you're feeding yourself think about automobile university or car university you have enough time in the car each week each year to educate yourself to be a massive skill set leader in any industry in any part of the world now let's go into the main part here which is time management which is how often do you get in your car and drive to an appointment if you're a sales agent or you're someone that goes out to properties all the time or bounce around town verify double verify and triple verify before you ever get in your car and drive all the way across town 
How do I know? This happened to me many times. I was a real estate investor, still am, and I get in my car, drive all the way across town, an hour and a half out there, or wherever it is, and they would not be there. And all I had to do is verify that they were not gonna be there, and I would have saved an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back, and all the stress and all the emotion. So always verify before you get in your car that the person you're going to meet is gonna be there before you ever get in your car, otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of uh, bad situations where you waste a bunch of time. Now let's go into the best one, number four, and here it is. Text, form, communication, management. Have you ever heard of this? Probably not. Let me break down the four types of communication. Number one is text form, two is audio, three is what you're doing right now, you have a video form, and four is in person. Now think about a baseball game. Do you want to read about it in a newspaper, listen to it over the radio, watch it on TV, or go to it in person? Think about conversion, sensory overload. We have taste, touch, sound, and so on. The more sensory overloaded the experience it is, the higher the level of communication, conversion, and easier it is for that person to remember what they felt because communication is not always about what we say, but how we make people feel. Now think about this real quick. If text form, meaning writing emails, doing Facebook Messenger, using your cell phone to text people is the least powerful form of communication, is this the most commonly used form of communication that you're using in your business or other people are using? Now, why does it take so much time in comparison to, let's say, a cell phone, picking up a phone, calling someone? I have to write the message. I have to look at it. I have to think about it. I have to write it. And then I have to edit it. I have to keep going back and forth, making sure I don't look dumb and add all these misspelled words. And before I know it, I spend all this extra time to write this little message that I could have said over voice message or just picking up the phone and calling someone or hopping on Zoom and talking to them, right? Now, the second thing is you give up the ability to assign emotion to the text. Think about if I said the word F you versus F you. One could be a joke with a friend. One could be a, hey, I'm about to knock your head off, right? You have no ability to control emotion for the most part through text. Obviously, you can use capitalization and certain punctuation marks. But still, you're going to get yourself in a problem in business because somebody else is going to take that message that you wrote that was not meant to harm or insult or be aggressive and they're going to put their own emotion behind it and it's gonna cause a negative nightmare. So think about that. Also the time frame of how long it takes to communicate. If I have you on the phone and I say something, you're present, you respond back. If I text you, you're not present. You may be at that moment, but it may take two hours for you to get back to me. So if I'm waiting for two hours to get back to, some, to, get back to me on something that I need an answer now, how does that help me now? So there's many reasons, guys, you need to understand. I'm going to be talking about communication going forward on this channel a lot because it's the difference maker between high, high performance individuals and people that struggle in business. So think about this real quick. Manage your phone, manage your car, manage how you communicate with text and all the different parts of your communication process. How are you doing this? And the last thing is manage your television because if you're watching this too much, you're feeding your mind with poison and you're not moving your business forward. Get rid of that television, guys. Build your business.